let us obtain generator matrix for the generator polynomial x cube plus x square plus 1 so uh, this generator matrix uh, we are obtaining for the cyclic code and uh, n equal to 7 and k equal to 4 generator polynomial given is x cube plus x square plus 1 so the first step is you have to write here first bit this generator uh, poly uh, generator matrix has seven columns and four rows so first step is for x cube x square plus one you have to write it in binary form so x cube coefficient is one x square is one x is not there so zero one is there that is x raised to zero coefficient is one so that is one then we want seven columns so write down three zeros so why seven columns because we are we are um, obtaining seven com comma four cyclic code or code with number of bits equal to seven after that you shift this one by one bit towards this side so one one zero one you have to write it as one one zero one and this zero will come here that is the one cyclic shift after that you have to take this again one bit towards this side so one one zero one and uh, and insert one zero or uh, the zeros will appear here again shifting to this side so this you got the generator matrix but this is with this generator matrix you will get the uh, non systematic cyclic code you can get the cyclic code with this generator matrix also you have to multiply this generator matrix with, with the message word but the code you, whatever code you will get is a non systematic code so to get the systematic code we need the generator matrix in the systematic form for that you, we have to do some row operations uh, we have uh, studied in a matrix chapter which was uh, there in the first year as well as in 12th class also how to do the row operation to get the identity form so here we want the identity form for these four columns we want the identity form so first operation is r1 is equal to r r1 plus r2 plus r3 so here you can see this is r1 if you add r1 r2 and r3 this addition is mod 2 or xor that means 1 plus 1 equal 1 xor 1 equal to 0 or uh, and 0 x or 1 equal to 1 1 x or 0 equal to 1 and 0 x or 0 is 0 so x or operation is wherever uh, even ones are there you are going to write it 0 so 1 x or 1 0 then 1 x or 1 0 1 x or 1 0 so here you will get only 1 0 0 0 so first row is this one 1 0 0 uh, so similarly here also you have to apply that um, operations so that is r1 r2 and r3 so r1 r2 r3 you have to concentrate on this okay uh, so why i am doing uh, this first and this part this uh, this second time because uh, here uh, we have to adjust at identity matrix if you get here identity matrix uh, then identity form then uh, these operations are similar to this or um, uh, if you found this formula you can simultaneously do for all the seven bits so uh, this zero this one zero zero and zero one zero so here uh, amongst these three only one is there so one appears here then one appears here and zero so that is one one zero <coughs> next you want here 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 to get the identity so for that you have to do uh, if you do one x uh, this and this row operation then th this one will get cancelled out but this one will appear so that you have to again add with r3 so that this one will get cancelled out so second operation is r2 is equal to r2 plus r3 plus r4 r2 r3 r4 so here you have to concentrate here on these three rows so only one is there so you write down here one two ones are there zero two ones are there zero two ones are there zero one one is there so one 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 is there so one so answer is zero one zero 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 one one that means you have to see if odd ones are there then you have to write 
1 and even ones are there you have to write 0 after that this one uh, 0 0 1 1 so here you want 0 0 1 0 for that if you add uh, this row with this row then this one will get cancelled out so this and this addition so concentrate on these two rows so 0 0 then 1 2 1s are there so 0 1 1 1 is there so 1 then 1 then 1 so you will get here 0 0 1 0 triple 1 now last row is uh, triple 0 1 so this is in the identity form so no no need to change so r4 is as it is r4 is equal to r4 so triple 0 1 1 0 1 so this one 1 0 1 so this in this form uh, way you will get the generator matrix in that uh, in in the form i and p this is not in the form of i and p that means identity matrix of 4 by 4 into p so how to obtain the code word then code word suppose uh, message is uh, 1001 then you have to multiply message word with this identity uh, with this generator matrix so 1001 again you have to see wherever in the message word ones are there so first bit so take first row then this uh, last uh, one is there so take last row after that forget about this take these rows of the generator matrix Rad write down these rows this one and this one don't consider this now after that you have to do the uh, uh, galaxy field 2 operation or XOR operation or what we can say mod 2 operation where uh, 0 mod uh, 0 XOR 1 is 1 1 XOR 0 is 1 0 XOR 0 is 0 and 1 XOR 1 is 0 so where or simply odd ones are there then 1 even, even ones are there then 0 so odd one is there so 1 1 even 1 0 1 0 0 1 so answer is 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 so you get the code with the systematic generator matrix in the form of system in systematic form what is systematic form that means you can identify the message word and the parity bits so message word is 1 0 0 1 and uh, it is appended or um, it is connected with the parity bits 0 1 1 that means you can distinguish between the message and the parity bits so this is the generator matrix formation for the cyclic code with the generator polynomial x cube plus x square plus 1 in the previous video we have seen with the x cube plus x plus 1